Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and these are my clips of arguments from the Trinity Spadina by-election from the June 23rd, 2014 debate at Walmer Baptist Church in Toronto, where Rory Sinclair, the moderator, let everybody participate. Nice change. Mr. Turmel, allow me. I introduce him. Oh! But this promises to be, he promised to be entertaining. This is uh, running independent as an independent, and I think he would might have said proudly and cousinly independent. Mr. John Turmel. Hi there. I am in the Guinness Book of Records for running in more elections than anyone else in history. <laughs> Counting the last Brand Provincial and the Brantford Mayoralty and this Federal, it's my third hat trick in 82 elections. I also hold the record for most elections lost. Now, now the Guinness Book of Records put me on the same page as Her Majesty the Queen under royalty and government. Didn't go to my head because the Americans put me on the same page as the world's biggest bagel. So anyway, why am I running? Well, how can I run? and get 20 to 30 people off the street to nominate me for their member of parliament in one hour. Well, I show them my life. No, 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 <laughs> I have one of them. Let's, how many people have heard of the Let's Time Banking Green Dollar Program? Anybody? There used to be a Let's in Toronto. Anyway, I'd love the people to say, look, you ever heard of Let's? No. Let's allow single poor mamas and poor people to list what lengths are available to double and triple duty babysit so that the other mamas can go out for a night off and they pay each other with one hour bills even when they're broke. Can you understand how that's might reduce suicides amongst depressed single mothers and poor people? Local employment trading software. And that's how I get, I say, don't need to vote for me, just give me the chance to explain let's to the voters. They've never voted for it before, but I want to keep trying. And 20 out of 30 people sign and nominate me for parliament in one hour off the streets because it ain't the quality of the candidate, it's the quality of the program. And I'm the only engineer who's got my program coded. There's his English. Okay, why this is serious? Well, you've been fooled for the last three years. Since Fukushima, remember Japan when it blew all that fallout into the sky? And three days before the clue hit BC, the Harper government turned off the fallout detectors. Didn't want to worry you. Didn't want you to stay home from work. And baby deaths in BC tripled. I did the math. I'll bet on it. Oh, by the way, anybody ever watch Rounders, the famous Holcomb game? Well, I was the teaching assistant of Canada's only mathematics of gambling course at Carleton for four years. If you Google for great Canadian gambler, I come up. Remember Matt Damon at the Taj Mahal saying, we don't play together, but when was the last time you saw one piranha eat another? Well, I was known as the professor at that Taj Mahal, the wizard of odds, the great white shark amongst the piranha. So what am I doing here? I want to show you how to quit getting the bite taken out of you by the long sharks by running your own interest-free chips, which is what I'll talk about for the rest of the night. <laughs> if you YouTube for student vote Termel, you'll find my explanation to the grade fours about how I got a grade 17 in science, systems engineering, 98 percentile math, 100 percent physics, and why, of course, would they think that's important? Well, here's your big chance to actually send someone to Parliament who knows something about science. So, it isn't my job, it's your job. And you finally got a chance to vote for a guy with a science degree. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pickard, Mr. Barnes. What a dilemma, how to get rid of Harper. Show my knife. No, no, no. <laughs> Look, look, I wasn't kidding when I said that the Environment Canada turned off the nuclear fallout detectors on March 25th, 2011. That had to come from the top. Baby deaths in BC tripled. Do you understand what Harper did? I mean, you guys think you want to get rid of him. I'm going to put him in jail. Okay? <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of, hey, we've been sucking up fallout for three years.
And he hasn't warned you suckers about it. I have. Look at my YouTube videos, Cure All Fast. 18 week fast to kill the cancers, to show you how to do it. Because I didn't like three years worth of sucking up fallout. Maybe you ought to wise up and blame the right guy too. Thank you. Okay, so the answer is to do more economy at home so we don't need to export so much. Now, why can't we buy everything we produce? Everybody borrows the principal, pays to produce the goods, and they all got to raise the price to get back the principal plus the interest, P plus I. And guess what? We only got P, the principal. We can't pay P plus I. Something always remains unsold, and we must get into the export game with the rest of the world. But if we used a local employment trading system interest-free poker chip for our collateral, we could do lots of local economy at home and only export excess we need. So while you use bank money at usury, you have to export and play that game. But when you run your own chips without usury, you don't have to anymore. We've got enough money in the home market to buy everything we produce. Okay, I explained to the kids when I ran for Bradford Mayor that the Let's program would allow me to pay them with bus tickets to shovel the snow and help old people have less heart attacks, clean the park, stuff like that. I explained to the kids how the Let's program would allow people to work for the provinces and to get paid with tickets they could use for hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses. A lot better than bus tickets, but harder for adults to understand. Kids get tickets right away. I could do the same with the Bank of Canada, run a PayPal, log on, not MasterCard, thousand hours of labor, settle all your interest bearing debts, all payments go against principal, someday you're out of debt. So it's only the interest causing the problems, and the Let's software is the only interest-free software you've ever heard of before, and you never voted for before, and you're probably not going to get it now either. <laughs> because they never got it. Yes, we care and we need more. Heard any solutions? No. As long as small farmers don't have a chance in the financial competition for loans, they can't compete with the big boys. Never will. And it happens to be the cheapest way to create chickens this way, torture them, mass production, big profits. Little farmers can't do that. But as soon as they got an interest-free loan at the Bank of Canada, and now they can get their seed and sell it and pay off later. All our problems are over. So we're back to fixing interest-free money as the only solution, despite what they really want it. I know. Something really has to be done quickly. They're all upset. It's terrible. But they all got no way to pay for any reform except me. So, back to the Let's program. As for climate change and carbon tax, can they still be fooled by the trick they used to hide the decline? CO2 spike, temperature change in 18 years, and these clouds are talking about global warming? Oh no, they changed the climate change. It ain't temperature degrees no more, it's climbs. What is a climb? <laughs> Woo! Yes! Right? Units of climate change are what? You're done. <laughs> We're gonna take another question from this side now. 1967, Canada's Centennial, July 1st, Parliament Hill. Calvin Highlanders of Ottawa, Queen's Honor Guard. And I was wearing a kilt that day. I was there. <laughs> so, look, Great, man. I want to give every sick person an interest-free credit card so they have maximum access to everything they need, not just you guys. I want to give every cripple, every poor person the same thing. You know what I mean? Nothing special. You don't need nothing special. You just need support when you're down, and hopefully you can put it back later when you're up. And that's right on the Bible. Paul Corinthians 2, chapter 8, 14. Your abundance should at the present time be a supply for their want, so theirs can later be a supply for your want. And in that way, he who gathers much doesn't have too much, and he who gathers little doesn't have too little. And that's what Lex does. It shares out the abundance to the guys who are down until you're up and sharing it back. Thank you, Mr. Vaughn. Thank you. I agree 100%. There are lots of clean energies 
out of debt. She just can't afford them. Okay? There's no money. There's no money for cleaning. Dirty's cheaper. And we've only got enough money for dirty cheaper. She ain't got more money for cleaner. I do. <laughs> now, when you got enough money, you can buy cleaner. But right now, as long as you're always paying the top of your budget and debt service to the banks, right. you're never going to have enough money for clean energy. But she's right. Everything she wants, we should have, except she ain't got no money. And I do. So, vote for her. She wants it. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not right. No, 
guess it's about climate change. It won't be done at any rate. Uh, it goes beyond uh, the nearly the tar sands and the pipeline. Why <laughs> are we not including proper uh, accounting of carbon dioxide in our environmental assessment? Now notice how the global warming hoaxers work. The guy said, I want to hear from number one and three and five, the guys who agree with me. I don't want to hear from two and four, the lady from Christian Heritage who said that it's basically a natural gas, CO2, doesn't cause any problems, and me who keeps pointing out the temperature hasn't changed. But if he could manage to get us excluded, he'd be able to say, we have consensus that most of the candidates agree there's global warming and that's exactly how they did it with the i with the ipcc same way they simply didn't even look at the people who were against and counted only the people who were for and when 97 percent of us agree now 98 now 99 we agree temperatures rising even if it hasn't in the last 18 years global warming cheating that's how they do it I notice our low tech, our low tech global warming hoaxer doesn't want to hear from me because I'll flash my hundred bucks in cash in his face, say put your money where your mouth is, and when he backs down, I go flash the cash, buy my trash, sir. I thought I told you climate hasn't changed in 18 years, and I'm ready to bet. And you come up here with these three doofuses who promise you a carbon tax. Why? You people believe temperature's been rising, you've been freezing your butts off for five years. What a bunch of morons you are, and you want to vote for a carbon tax. These three are promising you a carbon tax when temperature ain't gone up, and Chicken Little turned his back because he's too scared of a real science graduate to look me in the face. Flash the cash, bye bye tracks. Turn around and you're done. When you sit down, you're done. <laughs> Let's try another question. You decide. Now, you may be homeless, but you have a right to a home. Makes you feel better, right? Look, imagine that as fast as industry builds new housing, Casino Terminal pays them with new chips. If you want to live in that housing, you gotta get some of the chips from the guys who built the houses. And then, no interest, but you gotta pay the house as fast as it depreciates. Now I know that's hard, most people don't get it, but that's how interest-free financing would work. As fast as industry builds new collateral, the cashier gives them new chips. And as fast as the collateral is consumed, the people who consume it have to put it back. Now, how can you choose? We're all in favor of more affordable housing. Every one of us. Really? No? They've all said they want more affordable housing, right? We're all the same. I got the way of paying for it. I'm the only guy with the Let's program that can pay the workers yes. to build you your housing. But if you vote for them, you'll have the right to it. Thank you. Mr. Bond. Go, John. Nobody got it. Thank you. Well, I don't care how they tax me, I care how they waste it. I'll pay my tax for army and police to handle strife. I'll pay my tax for doctors and nurses who protect my life. I'll pay my tax for all engaged repairing road and sewer. I'll pay my tax for social servants helping out the poor. I'll even pay my tax for bureaucrats. With no regret, <laughs> I only object to paying tax for interest on debt. Yes. I don't mind paying tax for human time at useful toil, but charging me for money's time will always make me boil. So, I'm not in favor of sales tax or against it, income tax or against it, but I think they're stupid taxes because they need a lot of account, need a lot of receipts, got to keep up your transaction. I'd rather pay an asset tax once a year. Count up what I got, chip in 5%. That way we don't need all these receipts and accountants <laughs> and all that other kind of stuff that we get to enjoy every day. Well, you know, back in 2006, University of Saskatchewan found that marijuana grows new brain cells, which is why it's good for Alzheimer's and dementia. 
So, sir, breathe in deeper. It'll do you good. <laughs> now, if you Google for John Turnell and marijuana, you'll find that I'm leading 300 patients in federal court right now to repeal the marijuana laws. Now, I'm not talking about smoking the bud to laugh a little bit, laughing grass. I'm talking about needing the juice and the oil to fight the Fukushima cancers we're all going to be getting real soon. Notice how a lot of your old friends get cancer and they're gone in two months. Or little kids are gone. That's the Fukushima fallout they didn't tell you about. But marijuana oil and juice next to fasting. Go see my YouTube video, Cure All Fast, because fasting starves the cancer and it doesn't starve the healthy cells. The point is, we got to repeal the marijuana laws and get the juice and the oil or we ain't going to survive without it. Okay, in Argentina, when the bank, when the government was broke and they couldn't afford to provide the services you wanted, the union said, you're not laying anybody off anymore, okay? You can't bring your million dollar bond to a bank to get bills to pay us. We'll take ten dollar bonds in our paycheck, as long as we can use them for hydro, taxes, medical devices. So the Argentine government's provincial were forced to pay all their unions and government employees with small denomination provincial bonds you could use for Ontario Hydro, Ontario Medical, licenses. My point is as fast as they build new hospitals and they're paid with new chips, you can earn those chips to be able to pay health care you can now afford. So it's always the same interest-free financing program that enables it all. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Bond. Here. Okay. Um, I live in the bathroom in the Shore area, and one of the most important issues to me is uh, congestion. Mr. Prim, uh, amazing passes. Down. They don't know, but they're scared. 
Well, I'm trying to tell you, they wouldn't have changed it from the precision of a temperature degree of danger to the imprecision of a climb of danger unless it was a fraud. And I bet the Green Party candidate, Adriana, whatever her name, two years ago, a hundred bucks, the temperature hadn't risen. She ain't paid yet. She's a stiff. And I'm saying these candidates won't take my hundred dollar bet either that the temperature hasn't risen. And if any of you guys got the balls, stand up too. Woo! Thank you. No balls. All right, like that. You're done, Mr. You're done, sir. What's your hundred bucks? Relax. I've got another hundred dollars special. Yeah. You guys can take it outside. We're going to do not going back here. Hey, You can calm yourself and now it's start. <laughs> Don't talk climate change. Hey, come on, John. Do you mind? Don't worry. Just, just respect. You know, the deal is, shut up, let me talk. Sir, the deal is, you respect the other candidates when I ask you to. You yield the floor, you have your turn, it's over. We're going to listen to the slap shut now and then we're going to be quiet. Thank you.